Hello everybody and welcome to this tutorial on how to restore an old baby crib. Unfortunately I disassembled the crib beforehand so I couldn't uh, give you a complete before picture. But what I need to do first is fix up these holes. As you can see on this side we had these bars have broken a couple of these holes. As such, the first thing I need to do is repair these holes and for that I'm going to use a two component epoxy. So this is the second component of the, the epoxy. This was the first. Now we need to mix it up. So let, we will let these sit and we will focus on the bigger holes and for this I think I will need to put this bar back in but before I do so I will put some masking tape on it. Put it in and now I can put epoxy here without any concerns of not being able to put the plastic bar back in. So basically I will do this side first and then when it's hardened I will do from top. So here I am done with the first board. As you can see it's a bit over the top. I will want to sand it down perfectly evenly. And now that this is done I'm going to set this aside and start with the second one. Okay so here we are with the second board. This one has a big hole here and a little aesthetical issue here. So once again I put masking tape on this uh, rod and now I can put without fear of putting in the hole as well. So now I'm going to sand these wood panels down and for uh, speed and convenience I'm going to use this sander but if you have sanding paper that's good as well. So now that this epoxy is hardened we need to sand it down to a smooth finish. For this we're going to start with an 80 grit sandpaper and then go up to 100 grit sandpaper to a smooth finish. I've already sanded a bit this, uh, this plank it's a lot of work and such an electric sander certainly comes in handy but you can also use a normal sandpaper so I don't know if you can see this but here I've sanded it a bit it's really smooth here I still need to work it a bit and while I'm at it I can also sand down these stickers what I also noticed is that some of these are missing, so I bought a few of them and I'm gonna replace the, the broken ones. So just do this for the rest of the boards 
and we'll see each other when it's finished. After I finished sanding down these panels, I cleaned the dust of them using a little uh, solvent, paint thinner. Next step, I'm gonna apply light coats of even paint on these. I'm not gonna use a primer because this paint doesn't need any primer. Let the panels dry for 10 minutes, after which give it another layer of paint. So after leaving these panels to dry, I will now apply several layers of clear varnish over them. These will give them a matte finish. So just as before, spray it on a light coat and leave it 10 minutes to dry. I'm gonna leave it now to dry and after 10 minutes I'm gonna come back and hit another layer. So when I painted these uh, top rails I decided to go with the two color version. So I spray painted the top part of it uh, using a yellow color and for the bottom part use a purple color just like I'm gonna use on these uh, parts. So in order to achieve this, I already spray painted uh, this yellow. I'm going to leave it a bit to dry more. And then I'm going to use some painter's masking tape to mask off this part. And as such, I, can, I will be able to paint this part purple. And when it's all dried up, I'm going to use varnish on both of them. So I'm going to set these aside because they're still not dry enough and I'm gonna start painting these two boards purple. So I found here that uh, the epoxy is not perfectly flush with the board so I just sanded it a bit down. Such imperfections come out best after you spray paint them and just wipe it down with clean cloth or paper. So these purple panels are all dried up now and I must say they came out really nicely. I really like the, the color tone. But as I mentioned earlier, I will shift my focus on these rails uh, and for that I'm going to use the painter's masking tape to mask off this top side which I painted already and I'm going to paint the lower side the same purple color as you see here. I'm not going to wrap it up all up in masking tape as I will leave it like this, standing right up to avoid overspray. But I am going to uh, stick it real close to it. So I'm going to go find something sharp and come back. So I found this old screwdriver. It helps me stick the masking tape real up close. Now I'm gonna do the other one. So I got them all wrapped up in masking tape. Now I'm gonna paint them. So this was one layer of paint. I'm gonna hit it again 
After which I'm gonna turn it over and start from the beginning. So as you can see, this turned out really cool. Okay, and same as before, I'm gonna apply several light coats of paint. And now I'm gonna use some varnish on it. When it dries, I'm gonna flip it over and do the same thing. So unfortunately I'm missing four such pieces from the cradles bar and to replace them I have bought two longer aluminium tubes from which I'm gonna cut two pieces each. They are the exact same diameter and after I cut them down to size I have improvised a support for these tubes and I'm gonna place them all in a row and paint them all together. And now to apply some clear varnish. The last uh, parts of the crib needed uh, to be painted are four such panels. As you can see I've already done the one on the right and I'm gonna do the one on the left. Basically it's the same, apply two or three layers of coat and then two layers of clear varnish. After which I'm done, I can finally assemble the crib. And now for some clear varnish. So 
So it's been a little over a month now since uh, I started this uh, project and unfortunately I had to put, uh, put it on hold and while laying in the garage these panels were shifted here and there and unfortunately some of them got scuffed up as you can see it got hit here and there but uh, fortunately these are only minor damages and I will mount them in such a manner that uh, it will not be visible. I decided not to fix these minor issues because I have a feeling the baby will gonna do a lot more damage to this crib. So the point has arrived that I will reassemble this crib and let's see where it gets us I decided to paint <coughs> these uh, bars as well and to be honest I'm still not sure where this piece goes but I'm sure I can find out Okay, I'm gonna set these larger panels aside. I'm gonna continue with the smaller ones.
So now the restoration of this bed is complete. Uh, all that remains is to buy a mattress and it is uh, ready to be used. It came out really good. I'm really happy with it. And the fun fact with this bed is that it's not a static one. It's a swinging bed. How cool is that? And this is how the bed looks now with a brand new mattress. It turned out awesome. If you like it as well, hit that like button and subscribe to my channel for more such videos. Thank you very much.